Hello everyone, this is Alvin from Shining 3D. In the last episode, we learned about how to calibrate the scanner. Now the scanner is ready to do its job. But before that, it's better to know more about the parameter setting of the software. In this video, we, un we will unlock the secret behind the parameter setting for this 3D scanner, empowering you to capture accurate and detailed data. After creating the project, we will go to the scanning interface. On the left is the main setting menu. On the top is the camera window. You can see the recognized markers with green or red numbers. Green means markers already scanned or markers recognized in first scan. And the red ones are new markers recognized by the scanner. Also, you can check exposure in the camera window. Right exposure should have slightly reddish. If it looks too dark or overexposure, we can adjust the brightness or the camera aperture. Under the brightness adjusting bar is the background shielding function. This function can shield the background data such as turntable. The larger the value, the larger the shielding range to make your scan clean and easy to edit. Below it, we have the project list and scan setting. In the project list, you could create, open, and delete project, or it's able to delete a frame of data or group of data using create or split group function. The scanning setting will be the most essential part of this video. You're able to use full alignment mode, markers, feature, global markers, and turntable. For the markers mode, you'll need to put markers on the scan object or around the object. We have three sizes of markers, 6mm, 3mm, and 1mm. You can use different sizes of markers in one project to help you to handle most of the scanning tasks. If the scan object has enough features, you can use feature mode scan without markers. And for global markers mode, you can scan the global markers or open the global markers file first, and then scan point cloud. It will narrow the alignment error and use for when scanning thin wall parts. This scanner also supports turntable alignment. The turntable is optional when you buy the scanner. Before the actual scanning, it will do a turntable calibration automatically. With the object which has enough features on turntable and within its scanning range. After the calibration is successful, it will start to scan automatically and you can use the calibration date of the turntable next time. By enabling the use exist verified data function. As long as the relative position between the turntable and the scanner not, does not change. Under the line mode, there is turntable function. Enable this, you can scan with the turntable, but this function is not working with feature alignment mode. You can set turntable steps, which means number of steps to finish one turn or half turn, and turning speed. Also, select one turn or half turn for, for the scanning. At the bottom is the HDR function. The software scans with the preset brightness, and the scanning brightness cannot be manually adjusted at this time. Usually turning this on when scan object with large light and dark contrast. Lastly, the setting on upright of the interface. In the advanced mode, there are four functions for you to adjust. First of all, the synchronized adjustment of both cameras. When you turn it on, you can adjust the brightness and background shielding simultaneously. When you turn it off, you are able to adjust the brightness and background shielding separately. Second one is turn on or off the two laser points. And if you turn on the third one, it will go to the data editing function right after the scanning. For the fourth one, real-time recognition. With this function on, you can see the markers recognized by the scanner with red or green numbers on them. In the settings, you can also restore all the settings by clicking the factory default or select the language in the language function. In conclusion, as we come to the end of this tutorial, on setting parameters for this 3D scanner. 
you are now equipped with the knowledge and skills to embark on a journey of capturing precise and high detail data. In our next video, we will show how to scan a complete data using this powerful 3D scanner. Please follow us and stay tuned for our next episode. Thank you for watching.